Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint list. So this is not the straightforward filtering mechanism I'm going to show you. This is a little bit more advanced filtering mechanism I'll demonstrate. Okay, so this is my list. My list is called project tracking. And here I have IT lead email and title project start date. So as you can see here, IT lead email is uh, duplicated here in couple of places. So what ideally I want to do here is find the unique values of the IT email, filter against those values, then email the relevant, uh, the relevant person um, uh, with the details of title and the project start date. So there are a couple of tasks we need to do here. First, we need to find the unique values of the email from this list then do the filter against the records to find their own records okay so let's start building the flow now so i'm under power automate okay and click new flow and here i'm going to use the instant cloud flow so for this demonstration i'm going to use a manual trigger okay let's name the flow um sharepoint advanced filter demo okay next step we need to use here uh, the SharePoint connector and use get items select the SharePoint site Okay, the list name is called Project Tracking. Here it is. Okay, for best practice, always put some nice comments against uh, your action names. So here, get items, Project Tracking. Here it is. So next step, we need to find the unique values of the email. So for that, First, we need to get the select and here I need to select the previous values from the action step. So that's this. So to get all the emails here, first we need to get all the emails. The next step we need to find the unique values. So to do that, remember to click on switch map to the text mode. That should allow us to map the IT email here here we go IT lead email so this way we got all the items here so just rename to saying um, get all emails so it is this stage we got all the emails next stage we want to use an expression to get the unique values of the email. So for that, we need to use an expression called union. And from the previous step of the output, get all emails, that's an array, comma, again, same value here again. So we are using the same value, first and the second array, it's the same. So this should, this should return the unique values of the email let's test this and find out okay here it is so here in get the emails as you can see here that returned all the emails basically it's all the records of those um, emails but in this statement here in the compose we got a we got an expression which we did earlier called the union so that allowed us to filter only the unique values okay so far good next step we want to iterate this this array of because this is an array now what we could do is we can click on the control and say apply to each and uh, you can rename again here called um, each email okay and here i'm going to map the 
output of those compost earlier which will be the unique arrays then we need to filter the SharePoint list values against the unique email so for that I'm going to use the filter array here it is and here map the whole values of the get items project tracking what we want to filter against is the IT lead email is equal to so remember to get the individual values of the of the email from the loop we need to use another expression called items this is quite important here and then we want to use the our, the apply to each um, action name which is each email remember each email i renamed so that's what i'm going to use so items in bracket each email that's it so what this should give us is this should give us uh, uh, the relevant records for each uh, emails records so here i can say filter by each email okay next step it's pretty straightforward if you want to convert that into a csv file all i need to use is create um, just search for csv you should be able to get data operation create csv table here and here i can use the output of the filter by each email that is the body of that and under the show advanced options if i don't if i set it as automatic all the properties of the sharepoint will be displayed as a heading column heading actually if you don't want to do it all you need is click on the custom then you should get header and the values here and under that what you need to do here is you need to use the header as a title and under the function click on the function again another another each item we want from that so we need to use item question mark square bracket then the schema name of the of the sharepoint that is the title okay so you can extend it to the further uh, column values whichever one whichever whichever you needed so i'm going to only uh, show you just one only here so let's test this flow and see so we should expect a uh, total of three records three emails with uh, uh, David Smith, C Sharp Build, and Java Project. Karen should have EB.NET and uh, Automation Test. Finally, John got, have Design. Okay, looks like Flow ran successfully. Here we go. That successfully did the filters. So we can see here there are three records here. Under the Create CSV table, you can see C Sharp Build, David Smith, and then further down the line, another one here, Java Project that is also for david smith next for karen should be vb net and the automation test test let's have a look okay so next one karen that is showing as let's go back um here we go the title oh, okay I, I don't need to look there i can look in the body output so that's vb.net and the automation test and again the next if we go it's only one design actually so this way we can easily filter you know the unique find the unique uh, emails then easily filter against the collection of the records so that's why we don't have build and automation test that's the first one okay let's go back to power automate again let's have a um, overall look again so first i filter the records then next i use the select use that value from the previous step and remember to click on to convert that into te text mode and map the value that should return that as an array format since it is an array format we can easily convert that using a union so and but in the union you need to use the same um, um, array actually here because for union we need two arrays but here we only got one array so we need to use the same array as the second one that's the technique so that that filters the unique values next step we are iterating that uh, values and then filtering against it so remember to get the each value you need to use again items of bracket each email that's syntax we need to use again so remember that's quite key as well to filtering against that then finally we can use create csv table then uh, you know put a custom header or full header whichever whichever, whichever way you want you can set those 
and then use another expression called item so you can see here i set item and question mark this is a syntax you need with the schema name schema name is title so this way we can filter the sharepoint records finding the unique values first then filtering against those records thank you very much for watching